This video was recorded during a point in time, a point in time when many of us are quarantining ourselves due to the coronavirus outbreak. This is also a time where many of your favorite bars and restaurants may not be reopening if they are not able to sustain themselves through this crisis. All proceeds from this video and sponsorship are going to go towards the U.S. Bartender Guild Relief Fund. I'll put a link below in case you also want to help support with a donation, but there are other local ways you can support as well, including ordering from your local bar or restaurant. Many of them are doing takeout or delivery food and drinks, and many of them are also selling gift cards. Some have also even set up GoFundMes for their staff. So if you have the means, I strongly encourage you to help support. And to help get you through these tough times, I've created six quarantine cocktails today for either your virtual happy hour with friends or your own personal isolation ship. It should go without saying, but none of what I talk about today should be considered medical advice or used for the treatment or prevention of coronavirus. All right, now that we have properly sanitized, let's get going. First up, we have the Quarantine Cocktail, likely first printed in 1939 by author Charles Baker in the book The Gentleman's Companion. Get a shaker glass, and we're going to start with one and a half ounces or 45 mils of light rum. Then we're going to add a quarter ounce or about seven mils of a dry gin. Another quarter ounce or seven mils of dry vermouth. A quarter ounce or seven mils of simple syrup. Now we need some fresh lemon juice, and I'm going to tweak the original spec a bit and bump it up to one half ounce or 15 mils. And then we're going to finish with a quarter ounce or about seven mils of fresh orange juice. Now this does call for egg white, so we're going to do the reverse dry shake method, meaning we shake with ice for about 15 seconds first, double strain out the ice and pulp into the same shaker glass. Then we're going to add one whole egg white here, just crack it in half and kind of rock it back and forth a bit. And now we're going to dry shake. This is going to give us a bit more foam than the normal dry shake method by doing this at the end here. And because we've already strained out the pulp and ice, we're just going to free pour it into a chilled coupe glass like this. All right, the quarantine cocktail. Cheers. I love a good egg white cocktail, and this one does not disappoint. It is really drinkable. It reminds me a bit of a Clover Club cocktail, but with orange instead of raspberry. It's a total crowd pleaser. Next up, did you know that Corona is Latin for crown? So here we're gonna be making a Negroni with a little crown garnish called the Coroni. All right, let's make the standard Negroni first. One ounce or 30 mils of sweet vermouth. Now normally you'd use Campari here, but I'm gonna swap that for St. George's Bruto Americano, another one ounce or 30 mils. And then another one ounce or 30 mils of gin. No, I am not sponsored by St. George Spirits. Stir that with ice for about 45 seconds. And then using a julep strainer, strain that into a rocks glass with a big cube. All right, now let's make our crown garnish. Start by peeling a large piece of orange peel. Using this, we are going to turn our Negroni into royalty, as it rightfully should be. We're going to start by straightening out the edges and then carving in some little spikes on one end. It should look something like this, and then by cutting a few other slits on the bottom, we're just going to wrap it around the rim of the glass like this. All right, and now we've got our Negroni with a Corona, our Coroni. Okay, let's give it a taste. And who am I kidding? I already know what it tastes like. I've had about a million Negronis before, but honestly, it's really nice with the Bruto Americano. I'd say it probably has a little more spice to it. It's fantastic. All right, on to our Quarantini, a hotly requested drink, leveraging some emergency, or in this case, knockoff Walgreens version. I should note that Emergency does not recommend taking any of their products with alcohol, but I must try it for science. We're going to start with two ounces or 60 mils of a Reposado tequila, then one half ounce or 15 mils of Cointreau or Triple Sec. For a little more sweetness, one fourth ounce or about seven mils of agave nectar. Sometimes you really got to scrape it out there, but uh, oh, no touchy. And then for some natural citrus, we're going to do half an ounce or 15 mils of fresh orange juice. Then we're going to add one pack of our orange flavored vitamin C powder. Just dump it all into the shaker glass. Now, I really feel like this needs to be shaken to dissolve all that powder, mix it up and cool it down a little bit. But if you've ever tried this powder, you'll know it creates a bit of a fizzing reaction with the liquid. So you're going to want to hold the shaker tin really tight and you might get a little leakage. All right, after you've shaken that with ice for about 15 seconds, we're going to double strain into a martini glass like this. 
and I just feel like this needs to be a little bit bubbly, so we're gonna top with some soda water. And here we have the Quarantini, a guaranteed bad idea if you're actually feeling sick, but let's give it a taste. And I gotta be honest, it's actually pretty tasty. The citric acid in the vitamin C powder helps balance out some of the sweetness, and there's a nice effervescence. All right, three down, three to go. Starting to really feel it here, but um, we got this. All right, let's do a simple one here. We're gonna do the classic gin and tonic. Now, why is a G&T a quarantine cocktail? Well, the bitter ingredient in tonic is quinine, and that's related to chloroquine, which is a medication used to prevent and treat malaria, and it's actually being studied to treat COVID-19. But I will say definitively, do not try to treat malaria or COVID-19 with tonic water or anything made from the chinchona bark that it comes from. All right, here's my preferred way of making it. Two ounces or 60 mils of gin into a chilled Collins glass. Angle the glass and carefully pour in about four ounces or 120 mils of your tonic. Here I'm using Fever Tree Elderflower Tonic, which is excellent. Then squeeze in a bit of fresh lime juice to taste. Drop in three or four ice cubes and then mix it up a little bit. This technique is meant to maximize the amount of carbonation you retain from the tonic water. All right, our classic gin and tonic. 100% guaranteed to be ineffective at curing coronavirus, but it is damn tasty. And yes, I do appreciate the irony of using fever tree tonic. Okay, next up we have the Quarantiki. This is a riff on a drink called the Quarantine Order at Pagan Idol here in San Francisco. And we're gonna start with one ounce or 30 mils of fresh lime juice into a mixing glass. Then another ounce or 30 mils of fresh grapefruit juice. To sweeten that up, we're gonna use a bit of cinnamon simple syrup. Just gently simmer equal parts sugar, water, and a few cinnamon sticks in a saucepan for about five minutes. We're gonna add half an ounce or 15 mils to the glass. Next up, we need some passion fruit syrup. Now the easiest way to make this is to use equal parts of passion fruit juice and sugar. Just gently heat it up until it all dissolves together. And again, we're gonna use half an ounce or 15 mils. All right, now we need an ounce and a half or about 45 mils of a funky Jamaican pot still rum. Here I'm using Hamilton. Next, we need a less funky rum. Here I'm using a plantation eight year. Again, one and a half ounces or 45 mils. Then we're gonna hit that with five dashes of Angostura bitters. Then using a Lewis bag, crush up about five or six cubes of ice and dump it into the shaker glass. Then we're gonna shake that up for about 10 seconds or so to chill and dilute it. Then free pour that into your favorite tiki mug. Go ahead and top that off with a little more crushed ice. And we're also gonna slap some mint and tuck that in right there. It's gonna give us a nice little nose on the drink. And I'm also gonna make this coronavirus inspired lime garnish. I'm gonna take one of those spent half lime wedges I used to get the lime juice, poke some holes in it with a metal pick, and then stick in some cloves to make that elegant and deadly garnish that you'll just rest on top there. And stick in a little sippy cylinder, and let's give this thing a taste. The Quarantiki, and that is excellent. I mean, the funkiness of the rum, the grapefruit, man, there's so many flavors here. You do get a little bit of that cinnamon, a really delicious cocktail. All right, not to get all morbid on you, but I felt like we needed to finish this series with the Corpse Reviver number two. One of my favorites, this is an equal parts cocktail, starting with three-fourths of an ounce or about 22 mils of Cointreau, three-fourths of an ounce or 22 mils of fresh lemon juice. And while the original recipe calls for Kina Lele, which does not exist anymore, you'll remember from my Vesper video that you can swap that for Koki Americano, another three-fourths of an ounce or 22 mils. And then we're just gonna finish that with three fourths of an ounce or 22 mils of gin. This is by far the most common of all the Corpse Reviver cocktails, first popularized in the Savoy cocktail book in 1930. Here we're just gonna shake with ice for about 15 seconds, and then we're going to take a chilled coupe glass and using an atomizer, spray it with some absinthe. Alternatively, you can just put a dash of absinthe in the cocktail. And then we'll just double strain that into the glass and garnish with a lemon twist. All right, and there it is, our sixth quarantine cocktail, Corpse Reviver number two. And that's just a really nicely balanced cocktail, a little bit of bitterness from the Koki Americano and just a hint of that absinthe to give it a little character. I feel like I could probably put away two or three of these, but not right now. 
And there we go, six quarantine cocktails to get you through this period of social distancing. May you enjoy them in isolation or through virtual happy hours. Either way, stay safe out there, team. Today's video was sponsored by Raycon Wireless Earbuds. I've been testing these for months now and am loving both the sound quality and comfort. They're super discreet and are nice and snug in the ear. The carrying case is also really compact. It can charge the buds four times on a single charge. Raycon earbuds start at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market, and they sound just as amazing as other brands I've tried. Their newest model, the Everyday E25 earbuds, have six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit. There's lots of colors to choose from as well. Right now you can get 15% off your order by going to buyraycon.com slash cocktail chemistry. I'll put a link in the description. Hey, thanks for watching everyone. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, a lot of bartenders and hospitality workers are really struggling right now, and it's very possible that your favorite bar might not survive this crisis. So I'll be donating all revenue from this video to the USBG Relief Fund, and I encourage you to either donate or directly support your local favorite bars and restaurants.